I've been searching for the past couple of months for a word or a description of what my style is or how I would describe it because every time I see things trending or every time I go on the internet and search for different styles I can never resonate with any of them so I was like hmm if I can't find it maybe I just have like a slightly more unique sense of style in regards to clothing at least which is you know very much different from what I usually post here on YouTube but that's besides the point. I personally would describe my style to be very minimal or not necessarily minimal I don't want to say minimal. I personally would describe my sense of style to be effortlessly casual slash feminine. I like to be you know pretty I like to be cute which is very ironic because 90% of the time when I come on this camera I look homeless. I'm sorry if my beads start clacking throughout the video it's been kind of bothering me too. I did this to my hair a couple days ago and every five seconds it's clink, 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 clink. And it's like, girl, shh, I'm trying to talk. But I still think they're cute. Anyways, the first thing that I did when I was trying to determine my style, because after you buy so many clothes and personally, and maybe you guys can relate, um, there were a lot of times where I'd be going out and I have a lot of clothes. Well, I don't have a lot of clothes, but I have a good amount of clothes inside my closet. More than most people do, but less than the people that are obsessed with clothing does. But I would go to my closet and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have any clothes. But then I realized none of the clothes inside of my closet were my style. So I completely revamped my wardrobe to fit my current style. And I know as I get older, it'll probably change. Um, you know, which is why I decided to record this video because in the future years, I'd like to come back and see, oh my gosh, Rhonda, you are really dressing like that. But for right now, I'm satisfied with what's in my closet. The first thing that I did when I was trying to determine what exactly my style was is to basically analyze my body proportions and determine what my shape was. So as you guys may or may not know, there are multiple different body shapes for both women, men, and etc. And of the major five different body shapes, which are the apple shape, the pear shape, the hourglass shape, the triangle shape, and I think the rectangular shape, I found based on my measurements that I was shaped like a triangle. I found that my body shape was an inverted triangle. I was a little bit disappointed because the girl thought she was an hourglass. I really did, but turns out I'm not based on my measurements. In this video, I'm not going to be talking about all the other body shapes. I'm just going to be focusing on the inverted triangle body shape. If you have an inverted triangle body shape, then you will probably relate to this video more than others maybe or maybe not i don't know but anyways the inverted triangle body shape basically just kind of illustrates how your shoulders are much more broad than the lower half of your body so when i did my measurements i found that my shoulders were about 42 and a half inches my bust was about 36 inches my waist was 28 inches and my hips were 41 inches essentially what i'm trying to say is that the top half of my body more specifically my shoulders and my bust are slightly larger than my waist and my hips. And that makes sense a lot because inverted triangular shaped body types usually have more of broader shoulders. And I always felt that I had broader shoulders, which is why I used to hate wearing long sleeve and tight jeans. I like, I just felt like I looked like a little box. And now I know why, it's because I'm shaped like a little triangle and that's okay. <laughs> if I'm, if, you know, if I'm putting it on the table, I've always also been insecure about my buzz. I always felt like it was so much larger than my actual body size. I'm like, I'll, I don't know, I've always been so small, but my bust has always been so much larger than anywhere, any other part of my body. I put on this black dress so you guys would be able to see what I'm talking about, like so you guys get a full scope of what my body looks like. And as you can see in this clip right here, my bust is so much more bigger than my waist and sometimes it makes me sad, but I don't know, I've just always felt so uncomfortable when I was younger at least about how my waist was so tiny and my bust was so big. I once had this guy say that I was shaped like a letter P because back in the day, your girl ain't had no cake, okay? And it hurt my feelings a lot and sometimes I do feel like I look like a letter P, like my whole body shape. He said it was shaped like a letter P and knocked my confidence a little bit, but we moved on and we're okay now without even having to go to therapy. But I, you know, I've come to grow and accept and like my body because I know there are some people who struggle with being flat chested. So I'm okay with the blessing of having a bigger bus. When I was trying to navigate creating a style or settling on what my style was, I really wanted to not feel so insecure about my top half being much larger than my bottom half or the bottom 
half of my body so I made it an effort to try to find clothing that complemented the top half of my body so it wouldn't look so bulky or so or so broad to say the least and some of the clothing that I find that complement my top half the most would be tops like this that are like v-neck lined um because if it was like this I like look at this I look like a little boy but now we have the little v-neck line and we're looking like a baddie and based on the little bit of research that I've done to try to understand how certain necklines affect how you look I did learn that v necklines kind of make people look a little bit longer that makes sense because if you have like a, a crew neck or whatever neckline this would be considered kind of makes me look like I don't have a neck which kind of makes me look tiny so whenever I'm out buying clothes I usually mainly try to buy v-neckline shirts because i just feel like it complements me a little bit better and this is a little bit off topic but i have this one necklace that i wear everywhere it says natural academia on it it's kind of rusting and starting to go bad because it's not real gold this is the only necklace that i wear like i mean i wear other things too well not really but i wear this everywhere i go i've noticed that when i wear tops that have the same neckline as my necklace like which is a little triangle um it just makes me look a lot more elegant if that makes any sense i don't even know if elegant would be the right terminology to use in the sentence and it also i feel like makes my little collarbones poke out a little bit i used to be insecure about my collarbones too but i've grown out of that it's things that you say to children at a young age that you don't think will affect them that affects them because why am i insecure about my collarbone what is wrong with the collarbone that i should be insecure at all about but i was always taught in the um family unit that i grew up in that it made me look scrawny so i always hated the fact that i was scrawny one of the goals that i had as a child was to become overweight because i felt like if i got bigger then my collarbones would go away but i mean as i've gotten older i'm a hundred and I'm about 153 pounds right now. I should have probably said that in the beginning of the video, but I'm 153 pounds right now and my collarbones have just never gone away. I don't think they're ever gonna go away with however much pounds I decide to gain throughout my life. I also find that wearing cowbell neckline dresses, oh, uh, that's a mouthful. Like wearing those types of dresses or tops or even draped neckline dresses or tops, I feel like it complements my upper half so much. It just makes me look a lot more softer and a little bit less broad. It takes the attention away from my shoulders a little bit and makes you focus on the majestic action that's going on on my upper bust area okay if you get my drift essentially what i'm trying to say um when it comes to tops i try to wear anything that makes my collarbones pop out a little bit more takes the attention away from my shoulders and puts it a little bit more so over here so like above my bust and i find that it just makes me look a little bit less broad not that there's anything wrong with being broad personally i just rather not in regards to pants and this is in general with my entire style i'm a very comfortable dresser i don't like to feel or not dresser i'm a very comfortable outfit wearer or dresser whatever you want to call it i like to be comfortable i hate being uncomfortable in my clothes i hate having to adjust or pull down or do anything with my clothes while i'm wearing it i should just be wearing it and forget that it's even there in my opinion when it comes to pants i don't like anything that hugs my legs it suffocates me internally when that happens so i mean i wear skinny jeans sometimes i have one pair of skinny jeans and i usually wear it to like job interviews or i don't really work anymore i don't know i low-key quit my last job so i don't have a purpose for those jeans anymore but i'm just gonna keep it there just in case in the future i might need it but I don't like anything that hugs my legs very much. So when it comes to pants, I like to wear loose. Well, not necessarily loose. I like to wear baggy everything. And because my lower half is slightly smaller than my upper half, I feel like whenever I wear baggy pants, it kind of gives the illusion that I have wider hips than I actually do and a smaller waist than I actually do. So that's why I kind of rather wear wide leg pants or straight leg pants or baggier pants because I have a triangular shaped body and I'm trying to make it seem as though my hips are wider than it actually is. Pretty much 85% of my pant wardrobe is consistent of straight leg, wide leg, or flared pants. And I do have like two boyfriend jeans, but I don't really wear them that often. I usually just go for the pants that are more comfortable for me, which is the ones that are a lot more loose. Um, so yeah, that's what I usually like to wear for pants. I feel like it just makes me look a little bit more whole if that makes any sense in regards to accessories when it comes to my personal style i'm not really big on accessories i've never really 
worn accessories as I grew up. I mean, this is the first real necklace that I've owned my entire life that I have gone everywhere with. I had one necklace in high school, but I had to like take it off before I got in the house. So this is my first necklace and I'm not really big into like bracelets or rings and stuff. So I don't really wear stuff like that. Um, I have this one purse that I really like that I wear with every outfit if that counts. Um, I wear hats a lot. I'm really big into hats so plus my head is kind of big so I feel like putting a hat on kind of makes it seem like my head is not as big as it actually is in real life. When it comes to colors for my personal style I like to wear dark colors like black, gray and I also like to wear lighter colors like white cream and sometimes brown but brown is a hit or miss for me because my skin color sometimes can look a little bit ashy with certain brown colors. So I try not to wear too much brown, but I like to wear pastel colors too. And I, I have like, I'm, I'm dark skin, so I do understand like that there are a lot of bright colors that complement my skin. And I don't typically wear bright colors unless I'm wearing a dress. I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit more uniform. I'm debating on if I should put a little clip on what my closet looks like. Yeah, it's it's like black, white, and then jeans at the bottom. So I don't really have that many different colors. And the only time I ever really wear color is when I'm wearing dresses. But that's just my personal taste in clothing. And like I said before earlier on in this video, I would describe my style to be very effortlessly feminine slash casual. I like to be girly sometimes. A good portion of the time I'm dressing extremely casual and whenever I do dress casual and, and down, um, those are the times where I usually wear my more neutral colors like black, white, and browns. Whenever I'm dressing down, I wear sneakers a lot. And essentially when I'm dressing feminine, I like to, you know, do the typical dresses, sandals, heels, and even shorts or skirts. And when it comes to dressing casual, I like to wear a lot of hoodies and a lot of sweatshirts and a lot of graphic, well, not necessarily graphic tees, but animated t-shirts. Um, I'm not really into shirts that have human beings on them. I'd rather them have like anime characters or just bright colors in general. Um, no shade to the people that wear Tupac on their shirts. I just have a thing with, with death I feel very uncomfortable walking around with uh, a person that has passed away, but no shade to those that do. That's just my own personal take on it. And I do understand that there are some shirts that have people that are alive on them. I just don't care to wear somebody else's face on my body. I'd rather wear a cartoon character. So yeah, that's usually what I wear. Just um, animated graphic tees and a lot. Sometimes I wear crop tops. I wear jackets a lot and hoodies. And when it comes to my feminine dressing, I'm not like, I'm not super hype with it. I'm not glossy glam. I'm not, I'm very boring in real life. And I'm very boring when it comes to my outfits. I'm very, I don't wanna say boring, but my femininity is very mild. It's not spiked to the gods. My casual dressing is a lot more heavy than my feminine dressing, which is a little bit more mild. And yeah, as I stated previously, I'm a very comfortable dresser. I, and I just haven't been able to find a word to describe my personal style or aesthetic. So I just came up with it myself. I don't know if it's been trademarked or created already, but this is just what I would describe my style to be, which is very effortless, very casual, and very mildly feminine. I'm a very small top type of girl. I like to wear tiny tops to make my shoulders not look so broad, as well as loose neckline tops or dresses to make me look a little bit more softer and baggy or wide leg pants to make me look like I have some sort of hip or a snatched waist. And I'm not really big on accessories or jewelry or anything, so I usually just wear this one necklace. And yeah, that essentially just kind of describes what my style is. And of course, there are some outliers. I do wear skirts sometimes. I'm starting to try to get into wearing skirts because when I was younger, I would have to wear skirts to church all the time and that really put me off on wearing skirts. I hated skirts for a very long time because because of that, honestly, but I'm trying to like them again because they're kind of cute. As far as the outliers, I, I do I do like the chic aesthetic. I have a little bit of chic in the closet and I do like wearing button ups and button downs and the closed toed heels and such. And I also sometimes unintentionally find myself dressing a little bit more tomboy. So I guess I do have a little bit of tomboyness in the closet, a little bit of chic a little bit of mild feminine, a little bit of casual comfortable. But yeah, that essentially describes my style. I'm a very effortless, casual, feminine dresser. Um, if you guys can relate to some of the outfits that I've shown throughout this video, or if you have a very unique sense of style, 
like I think I do, uh, definitely leave a comment below. I'll be interested to know what your styles are. Maybe I'm not so unique after all. I hope you found this video very helpful. It's pretty short, I'm assuming, because I feel like I've only been recording for 10 minutes, even though it's been like, I think like 40. But um, I don't usually record stuff like this. I like fashion. I watch a lot of fashion type videos. And I'm like, if you watch it so much, girl, why don't you just make a video about it? So that's why I'm making it. And I'm gonna look back in a couple years and be like, wow, Saranda, you have grown so much. If you guys are confused or have any questions regarding anything that I said throughout this video, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer. And I'll see you guys next time.